Look! Suzuki! Uh, oh. Where am I? Suzuki, you're awake. Mr. Mamiya? Huh? What are you doing calling him that? He's... He's my homeroom teacher. What? No, wait. What? Mr. Mamio's a real teacher? Well, I do teach Japanese at his school. Mamio taught the bad guy? Oh, jeez. I've been impolite this whole time. But he's not at my school, so I should be fine, right? You may want to be more polite around your elders, regardless of whether they're your teacher or not. Yes, I suppose I'd better. Enough wasting time. We need to begin the reincarnation. That's right. Reincarnation starts now! Oh, I hope he, I, I wanted him to hit it with his staff. It would have been perfect. But no. <laughs> what are they going to do? Fire him as a cannon? Kind of looks like they're going to fire him out of a cannon. You know? I guess they're just going to spritz people with the Megamon Zwart Alter B juice. Gross. What? What's starting? We're using this whole town to purify and renew the digital world by taking it apart and putting it back together again. Taking it apart, putting it back together, and making it anew? It's our plan to wipe out the BH program you are spreading. Will that be effective on anything and everything that's made of digital data? This is just to clean up the BH program, so it only targets things that were infected. But, I suppose if we tried, we could use it on every single thing in this world. Then, would you do this for me? Would you disassemble me? I don't need to be reassembled. So, you're asking us to delete you from this world altogether? I've done so many terrible things. I deserve this punishment. It's good you're remorseful, but this is scary. I think the weight of his crimes hit him when he was freed from the curse. Curse? The lingering hatred of a man I've defeated. After the final battle in the Singular Zone, I saw him leave Suzuki's body. This boy is the victim of that curse, you say? No. I sought out the singular zone myself, felt the curse, and gave my body up to it. It was all me. Everything is my fault. Lush, I've done such awful things to you. Surely you despise me. I want to smack you, but I won't. Huh? When I looked at Shoma, I remembered something. Your memories came back? Yeah. I used to be a Digimon. I had a kind partner, and I was the happiest Digimon ever. But then, something went pop. And then, for a long, long time, I was in a dark place. I was all alone. I was cold and lonely and real scared. And I cried and cried until I heard a voice. Shoma's voice. I tried real hard to follow the voice. And then I found him. So you met Suzuki in the Singular Zone? The tales of Digimon who lose their partners ending up in the Singular Zone were true. But the Singular Zone's huge. To be called by a human who accessed it by chance and actually meet them? Miraculous! 
That was no miracle. It might even have been inevitable. How do you mean? Tamers and partners are drawn together. Just as you and your partners were, and Kota and Himari and their partners were. Wait. Oh, you and your partners. That's Taco. For a second I thought it was like, wait, Gigi Bond? But no. No matter how much time passes, the ties between them continue to bind. They can never be severed. Wait, you're saying Lush and Suzuki were that way too? But if they were, then how could he do something so awful to Lush? Could Suzuki have been unaware that Lush used to be his partner? I had no idea. Actually, why would you discard your partner like that in the first place? Back in the tournament, I lost to this tamer. Tournament? You mean back in fifth grade? Didn't you win that time? No, I lost. I saw those two in the semifinals, and I realized I couldn't win. So I... I cheated. I modded my partner's data. I did win the battle, but I'd lost before it began, really. I came out on top, but with an awful feeling in my chest. I meant to do it over. Once my partner revived, I'd win fair and square, I thought. But my partner never revived. I think... I think it was because I modded the data. I discarded my partner and started raising a new Digi-Egg. I wanted the ultimate Digimon. I gathered all kinds of info. Anything the network could tell me, I wanted to learn. But in the process, I first heard of the digital dive. I became obsessed. I dove again and again. The more I did it, the bigger the world became. And then, one day, just before summer vacation, I discovered the Singular Zone. Right around when you stopped coming to school. The Singular Zone was full of the unknown. Ruins of Digimon I'd never seen. Huge clouds of mysterious data. In them, I found data fragments glowing with an odd light. In the light, I saw the potential for an ultimate Digimon. I suppose that must have been the curse. It's clear to me now how foolish I was, but... In the moment, I was overjoyed, and I reached out to touch the light. From that moment, madness lived within me. And I made the BH program based on the curse, made the network gaps, destroyed the meddling enforcer, formed the AR plan. Sorry about that. Sometimes uh, I'm, I'm listening to this more than I'm actually paying attention, so when they stop for a certain amount of time, I just hit the X button. Yeah. I remade Lush using the ruined data I found in the Singular Zone. And I used her. These are all my crimes. My unforgivable crimes. But Shoma, I meant everyone thanks to you! There was plenty of bad stuff, but I was happy I got to meet you all. So, I'll let you off with no snacks this time! <laughs> Lush, but I... Oh, shut it already! Lush says she forgives you. Say sorry and thank you first before you go all wishy-washy. Yes. I'm... I'm sorry. And thank you. Well, Lush had it worst of all from you. So if she's willing to forgive, I guess I can't be mad anymore either. What about you? Eh. What if we say no way? Let's say no way. Come on now, don't say that. 
Time for me to take responsibility as homeroom teacher. I know I may seem unreliable, but leave them to me. Mr. Mameo. What'll we do, Tauman? All we can do is drift along. I don't like it, but I suppose it's part of the flow of life. There you have it, Shoma Suzuki. Though, of course, we don't speak for the whole digital world, you know. I imagine a good number of folks won't be forgiving. Think very carefully about how you'll handle that. I will. So, everything's finally settled? Seems so. I can confirm that the network is recovering from its outages. It's a gamble whether things will work out with Omega Man Alter B, but at least the reincarnation's a success. That said, it'll take a good long time before the digital world is completely reborn. Meaning we won't be able to see it through ourselves. Think so. Honestly, I'm ready to get back to the real world as soon as I possibly can. So... It's goodbye? Once the reincarnation project is complete, you'll be able to summon everyone again, you know. Suzuki and I can come along on digital dives, too. So... I'll see you again? You bet. I'm definitely coming back here. Once things calm down. Well, why don't we make it official? Let's promise that we'll meet in the digital world again. Yeah! Here, give me your pinky. Hey, what are you doing? Get over here already. B but Just join in. I have a feeling there's a lot you can learn from this bunch. Seriously? Learn? From Kota? Sure. I can teach you... Uh how to make your friends laugh or something. <laughs> sure you can. Yes. Please teach me that. Wait, he's actually serious. Here goes. We promise that when the digital world is reborn, we'll all meet here again. Looks like things are wrapping up. Shall we go? Thank you. I mean it. You too, Himari and Kota. When you get back, we're having a real feast. You have my deep gratitude as well. You've helped us in a real and true way. All right already. Um, why are you taking the compliments? I'm pretty sure our friend here worked the hardest. Come on, let's not be so tough on each other. Yukimura, I'll be back. Right! Rika, wait for me just a little while, okay? All right. I'm looking forward to the day I see you again. You... You've got to come back sometime. Thanks for everything! And hey, I can't wait to see you again. They just had to ruin it there. They just had to remind me that the main character actually had a voice actor. <laughs> for more than just cheerleading. God damn it. I don't know, I just... I hate the whole silent protagonist... Uh... Trope. This game had it. Uh... Persona 5 has it. Like, the weird part is the character does have a voice actor. The character has lines. He clearly says things and they're just like... Nope, let's just move past, and it's like, no, just voice it. I don't care. I don't care if I have options or not. 
Give me a give me a character that actually has some development here as opposed to the bland personalityless uh you know main character that just does everything and everybody else gets all the development and so on and so forth. I don't know. I I really like the Tales of games because yeah, there's a main character generally, but they still have lines and they still do stuff. And, uh. Anyway, um this is actually really fun. I, re I really enjoyed playing this game. I think I still prefer Digimon World 1 and how it was organized better. Uh, it was nice being a singular character, and I mean, to be fair, it didn't have a plot comparatively, but I almost like that better too, because this plot kind of felt like weirdly slapped on in favor of just like, let's make it like Digimon World 1 again. But at the same time, I actually really enjoyed this game. It was nice to, to play this formula again, and I'd absolutely play it again in a heartbeat if and when they make another game uh, in, in a similar vein. But I really do hope they actually make it deeper next time, because this really was not actually that much deeper than um, World 1 was. Like, it had some extra features tacked on, but they almost made it more frustrating. Uh, those super moves especially were uh, problematic. I guess they kind of... They, they did have super moves in uh, World 1, now that I'm thinking about it. I guess I just don't remember anybody rapid-firing me, but eh. Uh... But I definitely want like more tactical depth and definitely, definitely would want like something that actually boosts training to be like more effective in the future. But otherwise, like it was a pretty positive experience. It was fun running around collecting, uh, you know, new Digimon for the city. It was fun. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun uh, seeing which various Digivolutions you get along the way. I feel kind of bad that uh, I did the double, uh, you know, Omnibon combo right before uh, realizing I didn't have the stats for it and then having to uh, <laughs> beat the game with a gold Rapidmon and a Rosemon of all things. Like, Rapidmon I'm totally down with, but like Rosemon, I, I think I said this very specifically uh, good like 20 episodes ago, like I really hate Rosemon's design and I feel kind of bad I beat the game with, with one. I was actually super tempted to just be like, nope, nope, fuck it, we're just gonna get to another generation, I'm gonna get something I like. But, you know, whatever, we beat the game and it was fun. So like I said earlier on in this episode, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any of the post-game content. Uh, we'll see what it is. I, honestly, I'll probably just look up a guide and see what people say about it. I might do one more episode where we take a look at that uh, dimensional dungeon thing in the post-game, especially if I can somehow get uh, like bonus resources from that. Uh, but honestly, not feeling too inspired uh, to, to go too far out of my way here. I can't believe I put this on a three-week hiatus to do two episodes and then and end it. Yeah, I'll do a little bit more, but for all intents and purposes, this is the finale. Mainly because I found out that Persona 5 is... the per Persona 5's embargo dropped. Freaking, like, a couple hours ago, they're like, We're sorry, we didn't mean to piss everybody off, you can stream the game except for the post-game, but like, we're not going to take down any channels, just don't do it, please. Which means I'm going to play through all of Persona 5, now that I've finished with this, which I'm totally down for. Uh, as I was really excited for that game, I am still really excited for that game, and I can't wait to play more of it. Can't believe I'm finishing this off talking about Persona 5. No, I love Digimon. I guess, uh, if this is the last episode-ish, I mean, one way or another, we're going to be playing Cyber Sleuth 2, whenever that comes out. Okay, you can now play hard mode. No? The evolution to a Megamon Zwart D has been unlocked. Wake up. Wake up. It's time. Great! You finally made it! We've all been waiting. I missed you, buddy! <laughs> that felt really weird. Why was that in first person?
Gigimon said it would take a while, but I didn't think it would happen before summer vacation. We pinky swore that we'd meet again. That was so embarrassing. The digital world and the real world. Time doesn't move at the same speed. That's it! I was totally surprised when I returned to the real world. I thought my sisters would be totally worried. But when I got home, it was like nothing had happened. I was so relieved. I couldn't help myself. I just ran up and hugged them tight. There I was, bawling my eyes out while they patted me on the head. That's sweet. You've got great sisters. Right? They are great. I must have raised them right, even before I came here. Yeah, yeah, we can hear more about your sisters later. But before that, we should go say hello to Gigimon. Yeah, we should do that first. I miss Tawamon's sourpuss too. I need to go to Floatia though. Okay then, race you to Gigimon's house. I'll beat you! We should go too. Oh, he's my new partner. Name's Noir. Or Omega Mon's Wart D. <laughs> Once reincarnation finished, I took on Omega Mon Alter B as my partner after he was reborn as a Digi Egg. I won't waste any more time on explanations. We shouldn't make everyone wait. Let's go to Flotia. Okay, we're here. What? What? Why are we here? What? <laughs> All right, I'm confused. Oh, wow. That's bad. You see that up there, that like weird kind of duplicate thing? Unless that's, that's not supposed to be floaty, is it? Is that supposed to be floaty? No, that can't be floaty. Yeah, it's not floaty. Okay. Um, Over sorry, here. I was just looking at that. They actually mirrored part of the sky texture. It's chow time. It's chow time. Eat up. That's incredible. bad. That's like, do not pass go. Why would you do that bad? I'm sorry. I, I know people probably hate it when I poke holes in games that are actually good. But like, it kills me so much that they, they, uh, half-assed this game to some degree. Like, whenever I'm playing it, I'm just mildly disappointed because they could, like, they could have spent more time and effort and energy and whatever into making this, like, really, really awesome Digimon, like, catching, taming, training simulator, and instead it's just kind of this, like, I mean, it's an okay game, but, man, there's just so many things they could have done to make it, like, amazing. Oh, wait, shit. Why did I go to the Infinite Cauldron? I, I forgot I have to go to the, I have to go to the phone booth. Reflex, I guess. Someday, someday they'll they'll make a, a truly deep and interesting Digimon game. Uh, or at least I can only hope. You're late! Long time no see. Great to see you again. As you can see, the digital world is back to normal. We're so grateful. Let me add my thanks as well. The reincarnation that you all made possible restored our world to its correct state. Stop! You're embarrassing me! Then why are you taking the compliments? I'm pretty sure our friend here did the most work. <laughs> That's true. But we all needed to work together to make reincarnation a reality. We all saved this world. We're saviors! <sighs> What's wrong, Suzuki? I keep wondering if I should be here. This again? I get how you're feeling. The mistakes we made will never go away. But to make up for it, you took on the Enforcer as your partner. You saved those Digimon who were unable to purge the BH program with reincarnation. 
It's not up to me to say whether or not you deserve forgiveness, but I'm sure some people have noticed. That's right. Your honesty in trying to make up for your mistakes is really making an impression. You will be forgiven someday. At the very least, everyone here has forgiven you. Thank you very much. Let's just leave it at that. The party is set to go. We'll celebrate tonight. We can't eat or drink, but we do want to honor Yukimura and the rest. Yeah. Have lots of fun today, Rika. Party time! Come on, at least do an illustration. You can do one, one painted image. No? Really? Wow. Hey, I need to talk to you. I'll be waiting outside. I'm sorry I called you out here while everyone was celebrating, but I needed to tell you this quickly. You see, the digital world is facing a new threat. When the reincarnation was starting, Mire and I closed the gate that leads to the Singular Zone. No, you didn't. When we did that, some corrupted data that was floating around in the Singular Zone seeped into this world. The filters were up, but the corrupted data was so small, it looks like it got through somehow. Mire went after what passed through the filters to observe. She found out that it was a little Digimon. As you know, there's a lot of corrupted data floating around in the Singular Zone. That's why I followed that Digimon, using the information from Mire's observations. It's very bright. I couldn't find a way to capture it. I talked it over with Mr. Mameo and Gigimon. It seemed like we'd almost found a way to capture it. But then it came here and stopped moving. At that point, we started detecting a growing transformational energy. It was trying to digivolve. In fact, it might have already done so. It's very... Dangerous, I think. Worse than Omega Mon Alter B. A threat we've never seen before. Forgive me. I'm not strong enough to face that. I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but... Would you go check it out with me? No problem. Thank you. I knew you'd say that. It will probably be a rough fight. Hang on. If there are still Digimon infected with the BH program, could you purge them with this new antivirus? Okay, you received a new antivirus program from Shoma. Got a second? You're back, Taco. I have Made good news. Magnanjimon is. Join Flodia. He went to the hospital. I think Made we can expect great day. things from him. Phoenix Mon has joined the city. He went to the museum. He says he likes beautiful Made things. Mega Draymond has joined the city. He went to the lab. Seems like he has a real passion for research. City's prosperity is now 123. It's actually a real city now. Well. Okay, to the infinite cauldron. Must be the infinite cauldron. Make sure you're ready for anything. Okay, I might... I might... I'll figure out what the plan is for post-game content. So we've got that. Swanky clothing. Piedmon. Tomboy Digimon in Logic Volcano. Some kind of god, but who knows. Greater the city's building increases. Okay. Uh, I'll figure that out later, or I won't. I don't know. One way or another, this is the official finale. If I do post-game stuff, 
I'll label it as such, so you guys know. I'll ha I I really have to look up how hard it's going to be, because if it's going to be, like, crazy time-consuming, I just don't have time for that. I'm sorry. But honestly, I had fun with it, and we finished the plot off, and maybe maybe I'll go take a look at that, uh, that EX dungeon stuff, as well as whatever uh, uh, Shoma wants me to take a look at. And it probably is going to kick my ass, and then I'm going to have to go do more grinding, and then... <laughs> Well, I guess it wouldn't take too long uh, to grind up some Digimon to truly max stats at this point, considering that they're at least three quarters of the way, kind of across the board. Uh, or uh, four fifths ish. Kind of varies. Uh, but it shouldn't take more than one or two more generations to actually finish things off. So that is an alternative option. I'll think about it. For now, though, I had a lot of fun with this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, Thanks for watching.